Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your friend SG and in today's video, we are going to create a news app using React Native. Okay, so this is a news app that we are going to create. So here we have all the trending news and uh, user can also see the news related to the categories as well. So like if we go to entertainment, here we will be displaying all the entertainment related news. So these are the news for entertainment and if I click on any of them, the complete article will be visible to me. I have not navigated out of my app. Okay. So I am only inside my app right now. So this article is also inside viewing. I am viewing this article inside my app only. So this is the main feature of our app. User will not be navigated out. He'll be completely inside our app. He'll read all the news inside only. Okay. So this is the basic project that I have created. I have initialized it using npx react native init and then the name of my project news app. Okay. So in the project, we are going to use some uh, dependencies. So let's just first install them. So first one is react navigation. We are going to install it. This is the official website of react navigation. Firstly, we'll copy this part and uh, then we are going to install it. We'll paste the command here. Then until this is being installed, let's just copy this second part, second command and we'll install it using npm. So this is done. So just paste this command and after that, one more installation we need to do of the react navigation slash stack. This is on the second page, this part. We'll just copy this command and use it. Okay. Okay. So we'll paste it here. Now, once this part is done, then we need a package called react native dot env dot env. Okay. So this package uh, here we are going, this is used to store our API key so that it doesn't goes public and it's being protected when our code is pushed to GitHub. Okay. So let's just paste it here. So this is done. So let's now start our uh, Metro server. The command is npx react native start. And uh, while this is done in the another terminal, we are going to compile our project. So the command for that is npx react native run Android. Okay, so this is a complete react native project that we have set up. So the very first thing that we have to do, we will be modifying this app.js file. So let's just go to this react navigation and copy this part of the code and let's just try running it. We'll copy this and paste it inside our app.js file. We are seeing it here. Okay, see home and home screen is written. So what we have done? We have called this, we have created this tag and here we have called it home screen. Okay. And we have created this function here. So this is the react navigation part that we have set up. So for in order to work it more properly, we are going to create some of these screens. So let's create a SRC folder and inside that let's create a screens folder and here we are going to create home screen.js and Let's just copy this part of the code and okay. So let's not just copy it. We are going to create a class and here we are going to and let's just import component as well. And here we don't need this function. So let's just remove it and uh, we'll not, we'll not need this as well. So here we'll be importing our screen that we have just created. Boom. Okay. So I got an error. React has already been declared where 
So what's the error? Okay, I guess we have copied pasted the code twice. So we don't need this part. Let's just remove it. Yes. And we'll just export this. So this is it. And uh, let's just import this home screen as well. Okay. So yes, this is it. Okay. So we are seeing our home screen now. So this is done. Now the second part is to set up our react native dot env project. Okay. What does it say? Uh, it will list out how to set up this project. Okay, so it says that you have to paste this part of the code inside babel.rc. We don't have that file, but we have this babel.config.js. So we'll copy that code and paste it here. Now, secondly, okay, so now we can directly create our env file. So let's just create our file.env. Keep in mind to uh, use this dot before this file name. Okay. Now in order to use it, we are going to create a config folder. Okay. And inside this, we are going to create a config.js file, which will use the env variable. So we are going to import it from right now. We haven't created any variable, so we are not seeing it. So once we create it, we'll see that. Okay. And we can use this uh, export it from here. Okay. So uh, our env file is also set up now what we have to do we'll go to newsapi.org and create an account over there okay so newsapi.org this is the api that we'll be using okay so it provides us various uh, ap uh, endpoints which we can use but before that you have to create an account over there uh, you can just click on this get api api key and fill in these details and you will get your API key. Okay, but I have the account, so I'm just going to log in. So this is my account. So here is my API key. So I'll just copy this API key and I'm going to use it inside my .env file. I'll create a variable called API key and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. And here we can import this API key variable from the env file and we are going to export it. So let's just export this API key variable. Okay. So this is done. Now, in order to test it, what we can do inside this home screen, we can create a componented mount function and here we can console our API key. Okay. So we'll just console log it. Just in order to test it whether it's working or not config dot api key okay but before that we have to import this config file as well we just imported it so here we have got our api key that we had just printed okay so now we have set it up our uh, entire news api we got the api key and we have also set up a basic project. So now let's just see how we're going to implement this API. So this provides us some of the URLs that we can call to. Okay. So we are going to use this one slash V2 slash top headlines and question mark country. Then here we'll give our country and from here we can retrieve the top headlines. And using this only, we are just going to pass the categories as well here, which will retrieve, uh, give us the news based on the specific categories. Okay. So this is it for this video. In the next video, we are going to implement uh, the other functionalities, the news visibility and using the APIs. So stay tuned to the channel and for any help, you can contact me on Instagram and Telegram. Okay. Link is in the description. Thank you. Tata. Bye-bye.